Welcome inside another edition of the Nyschloss podcast presented of course by Nyschloss and Fleming. I'm your host as always, Mike Asti. And on this edition of the show, we are going to talk about a carrier certainly near and dear to us and that is Aetna and what they are doing in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area really around that area in Texas, obviously a big state, a lot going on there. I drove through it once, so I know how big that is. And I'm gonna have that conversation with David Huddleston, who is a broker manager in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, as well as parts of the Panhandle and other parts of Texas, as we are going to discuss Aetna in that area. David, thanks for joining me on the show. Happy to have you. And uh, I, we can't see your little dog there, but I, I, I almost wish we, we could see the little dog you told me about. <laughs> before we got on the uh, show. Well, I appreciate you guys having me. Uh, I can tell you my dog is not quite so little. She's about 110 pounds. Oh, okay. She's uh, not little at so, all. I thought you said yeah. little. No, she is not little <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's a big... That's why I was like, oh, you might be able to see her. But no. I, the way my camera is, you wouldn't be able to. But she likes to get up in my business every once in a while when I do call. Okay, her. so maybe we'll get a special surprise from the dog. <laughs> that would be fine. It, it very well maybe we will. <laughs> uh, but may, we'll, we'll let that see as a potential surprise. Again, I want to remind all of you here, click that subscribe button bottom of this video. It'll help us get all of our content to you. It's free to do so. And you'll get a notification when anything is released here on the Nice Lawson Fleming YouTube channel. Also find us on social media, on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram at Nice Lawson underscore Fleming on IG. So David, obviously Texas is a major player in really everything, but certainly in the, the Medicare market, certainly the Dallas area, that's actually where Integrity Marketing Group, a parent company and a partner of ours is based out of. So we're very familiar with that area as well. And there are a lot of opportunities for Medicare agents, for consumers throughout the state, but certainly in the Dallas, Fort Worth area and, and around that area. What is it about Aetna that still allows agents to have success, that agents are still gravitating towards, that clients are still interested in, and that Aetna has been able to have so much success amongst so much competition in the area? You know, we, we've we really worked, I joined Aetna last June, okay. and you know, in the last several years, we have worked really hard uh, just making sure, you know, brand stability, making sure we're active out in, in our market, working with our brokers. Um, when I first started, we only had two broker managers here in DFW. We have three now. So being able to divide that up amongst three people allows us a little bit more time to build stronger relationships. We have a really strong senior management that is here. Um, Chris Shire is our chief Medicare officer. Chris has a very long uh, history in the Medicare world. And then my direct boss, which is Anna Koning, Anna has a very long uh, resume as well in the Medicare space. So, you know, we have people who have done this business and done it successfully for a long time. And that really helps us, you know, being able to offer, you know, stable plans, mm -hmm. strong plans, and be able to work with our brokers. Absolutely. And it's it really is a relationship building business. So you have to be able to have the trust in that leadership and also be able to have the product line that is going to allow that success to happen because of brand, people, relationships are great, obviously very important in this space, very important to us at Nice Loss and Integrity, but can only take you far if you don't have the product. So that will allow us to transition. And it has a well-developed portfolio of plans. They always do, but certainly that's the case this year in that Dallas-Fort Worth area. What are a couple plans with Aetna that stand out for you this year that are really important that you expect to have growth, whether it be a rating, whether it be something they're offering, et cetera, in the area? You know, when you talk about Medicare Advantage plans and you really look at like the value proposition, the two plans that are really going to jump out at brokers are it's going to be our value HMO, which we introduced here in 2021, and then our DSNP plan okay. as well. So a little bit about the value HMO. So the value HMO, if you look just top to bottom, the benefits are super strong. The max out of pockets, uh, $3,900. Uh, the no co-payment for the PCP, $25 for the specialist. But what really sets it apart is first off, even though it's an HMO, it's open access. So our members don't have to have uh, referrals for network services. And then outside of that are the supplemental benefits that come with this particular plan. The value HMO has a $2,000 dental benefit that does cover dentures, a $200 vision benefit, $150 per quarter in OTC benefits, 
you know, all of our plans include silver sneakers. And then all everybody knows that like with a traditional HMO plan, if you travel outside of your plan service area, you typically only have emergency and urgent care coverage. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a benefit that's built into it that's called the travel advantage, where if the members say hypothetically they live here in Dallas and they want to go stay in Chicago for six months, they could call member services and they could pick a primary care physician that is contracted with Aetna HMO in Chicago and they could see that person for routine visits while they're there for those six months. So that's a really great benefit that's built into that value HMO that's not included in most HMOs. And when they see that PCP in another market, they're going to be able to see that PCP at the same in-network cost sharing that they would enjoy here in Texas. So it's not something where they're traveling, but yeah, they're going to pay a higher copay or something like that. They get to enjoy those same copayments while they're in another market for up to 12 months at one time. Okay. Yeah, that, that that's that's not a small deal at all. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of carriers out there, a lot of plans that you can have the network, but maybe that would change the copay system, that would change what you're paying, etc. So to be able to have it kind of where you can just, you know, free sale and, and it wouldn't change the copays, you'd be able to travel, you'd have that within the year, which is when you'd have the plan anyway, ideally. So that's certainly a, a major deal there. And, and again, Aetna is offering a lot. The DSNIP plan is, is certainly something to bring up if, if you're clients would maybe qualify for that and certainly be something in that direction that would work for them. David Huddleston here, broker manager in that Dallas-Fort Worth area and a little bit beyond in Texas as we're talking about Aetna here on the Nice Loss podcast. Now, David, going a little deeper into those benefits, into a few benefits that really are highlighted this year and what Aetna is offering amongst their plans and in their portfolio, what would you say is that top attractive benefit that Aetna is offering amongst their plans, maybe even a couple, I'll let you, you know, give two or three if you'd like to, um, that agents really need to be aware of when they're talking to clients about Aetna plans this year. Absolutely. And, you know, I mentioned our DSNIP plan a minute ago and just a little bit sure, about that. Sure. So, you know, dental is such a big yeah. deal. Even in my years of selling, when I was a broker, you get asked about dental a lot. And usually what you're being asked about is dentures. Because you, as a person gets older, typically they're going to, you know, teeth are going to yeah. go bad or they're going to need dentures, replacements, whatever. And there's a lot of plans out there that don't cover those. And so, like, our DSNIP plan is absolutely top notch. Whenever you're talking about the DSNIP market, you know, you have your Medicare and Medicaid cost mm -hmm. sharing. But our DSNIP plan is open access, just like the value HMO, so no referrals required. But it has a $4,500 dental allowance that's built into it. And just a little bit more about that dental benefit, it's day one coverage. So whenever the member's plan becomes effective, they have access to the full $4,500. There's no waiting period on a service and it covers every single ADA dental code except for teeth whitening. So yes, it will cover dentures. Yes, it will cover implants. And so that is a huge deal, especially when you're talking about that DSNP market. And then, you know, just the supplemental benefits top to bottom on that particular plan, uh, $500 in vision, $200 or $2,000 per ear for hearing, $225 per quarter in the OTC benefits and tiers one through five mm -hmm. for the medications are all no copayment, regardless of whether they go to a preferred or a standard pharmacy. Um, we have a $25 per month healthy foods card. You know, like I said, top to bottom, that DSNIP plan just really jumps off the page. And to circle back to that, to your question, you know, what benefits really jump out, you know, as far as, you know, the agents focus on dental and OTC benefits, actually, because all of our plans offer no copayment for lab services and PCP visits. But our OTC benefits, like I said, the value HMO is $150 per quarter and the DSNIP is $225 per quarter. So, and they have the availability to order online or over the phone. And there's also the option to go to select CVS locations across the Metro and they can pick those items up in a retail location. So when I talk to brokers, those are the things that really seem to jump out at them because when you're looking benefit for benefit, it's a very competitive market here in Dallas. You know, we're not the only plan that has no co-payment for a PCP. Sure. Uh, we're not the only plan with a $3,100 MOOP, but when you start looking at those supplemental benefits, like I said, the dental, the OTC, those are the ones that tend to jump out. And dental is 
incredibly important, maybe underrated for a while, but now it certainly appears that's something that consumers are really interested in and really aware of. Your, your dental health can affect your overall health. I mean, that can, that can connect to heart disease, et cetera. And yeah, being able to have dentures and implants and really the needs if you're dealing with dental issues covered, absolutely a big deal for sure. And then yeah, the CVS relationship that that Aetna now has and has established is is, is that's a nice plus. Uh, whether we're we're talking on the Med Advantage side or even we've done past shows on Aetna's Ascendo Med Sup and what's going on there with that CVS relationship. So so that's a great relationship to have. Obviously, David Huddleston here, broker manager in that Dallas Fort Worth area of Texas and a little bit beyond here as we're talking about Aetna down there in the Lone Star State. I want to also remind you guys again, hit that subscribe button bottom of this video to help us get all of our content to you and your notification when any of these podcasts, Bill Cray's near and far, anything else here, Senior Moment is, and including an actual show that uh, will pop there on Senior Moment that is part of the Aetna team. So the Aetna team actually here in Pennsylvania involved in that senior moment as they do a, a potential classic movie for you. Let's just say that. They are, they were they enact a, a classic movie that also will help teach you about the Medicare industry. But going back here to this conversation about Aetna in, in Texas, in terms of selling Aetna now, and you mentioned this a little bit because obviously there's a lot of competition, a lot of these plans, a lot of these carriers are doing kind of the same thing with some benefits and some dollar amounts and some co-pays, everyone trying to hit the same thing. But what would you say in terms of selling Aetna is maybe a challenge that you do hear about from agents and maybe some advice you could offer to overcome that challenge to still have success with Aetna and, and not let that be an obstacle? Absolutely. So there's a couple of things. You know, when I started here, because we reach out to brokers periodically, um, so we reach out, we get feedback from them, and it's very valuable feedback. And one of the things that we heard repeatedly going into like the 2022 uh, plan year was we want plan stability. So when you're talking about just working with the brokers and just getting them engaged, the last couple of years, there's been a few plan exits, um, major plan changes, and brokers have had to go out and rewrite business. And, you know, Rewriting business is great because, you know, you get to keep that money, but it's like moving money from your left pocket to your right pocket. It's, you're not growing. And so really we've given them the opportunity to be able to grow this year. And, you know, we haven't had any major plan degradations. All of our plans um, virtually stayed identical or got better. We had several plan enhancements for 2022 uh, that we've already kind of talked about. We've expanded into a few new counties. And really it's just helping to build that relationship with the broker to make them more comfortable with the Aetna products because our plans are very solid. You know, like I said, I have a, a broker background. Uh, I definitely uh, research what's out there and things like that. And I go in to the benefits and I, I created my own spreadsheet. So I kind of know what's out there and things like yeah. that. But it's just first getting that, you know, sales kit into the toolbox, so to speak, you know, making sure that we're a part of that platform and it breaks down to really education. Um, like I said, it's a very competitive market. And so one of the things that we run into is just having, you know, being able to educate the brokers and where we stand apart from our competition as far as how we can overcome those obstacles. And then something we uh, talk about all the time, you know, you know, we just mentioned the whole the dental and stuff like that, you know, making sure because our dental is based on our commercial dental network. So there's no shortage of dentists. If you type in a zip code here in the middle of Dallas, you're going to pull up a few thousand results with 15 miles of that zip code. Um, so it's making sure that brokers reach out to us. You know, if they ever run into a neck networking issue, you know, uh, reach out to us, let us know how we can do it, making sure they're familiar with their broker manager and what we're here for, because we're here to be a liaison for them. And, you know, all of your agents that are here in the DFW and North Texas market, I know you'd highlighted that I also work the panhandle mm -hmm. in uh, East Texas reach out to me. You know, if there's ever anything that I can do, don't think that you're being a bother in any sort of way. That's my job. You know, a lot of times brokers and in good, in, you know, good faith, they're trying to help themselves and you want them to do that. But if you're ever running any, into any headwinds, don't hesitate to reach out to me because that's my job is to be there and be a resource. For you. Yeah. You never want to have a situation where you don't know. <clears throat> you can just let that be 
what it is because you don't reach out. So absolutely, whether you reach out to <clears throat> David and his team or you reach out to us here at Nice Loss and Fleming, we're certainly willing to take your call as well. We help agents even in the middle of appointments all the time. If you do have a question, certainly better to reach out than just kind of let that lie and not be sure. Because again, knowing the answers is how to best serve your clients. And that's kind of what this is all about. When you serve them properly, the money will come and that's how the relationship works. David, I definitely appreciate the time. Uh, of course, we have a strong relationship with Aetna. We have a lot to offer here at Nice Loss and Fleming. We have Medicare Center as an online enrollment platform. I know a lot of agents do utilize that. You can look up doctors, prescription drugs that David mentioned, as well as take someone through an enrollment. We have bonus programs like Greenhouse. We have an in-house graphic designer right here. We have lead programs at our disposal. We have a digital marketing company we work with called Snoozy. Did a past podcast on that, and it'll help you create a website, social media channels. We have this YouTube channel that certainly can be informative to you. I've done past that in the shows as well here in this podcast section, on Aisha's podcast section. The playlist right here has all the podcasts, including those on Aetna and also anything else we're doing here, including, as I mentioned, Aetna's involvement in that senior moment. So we have a lot going on here. Aetna's certainly a carrier that we care a lot about. We work with heavily, and certainly the Dallas-Fort Worth area is an area that we're heavily involved with as well. David, I appreciate the time. I will let you get back to your little big dog that you have down there. Any final words, though, in terms of advice or just final words in general here to our, our audience? Not at all. I hope everybody's, you know, off to a great start for AEP. Mm -hmm. I know this is a super busy time for everyone. So I want to thank you for one, having me on here and being able to speak to your agents. You know, uh, that's something that is so important for us and being able to reach out. Um, don't hesitate. You know, if, you, if you're a broker here in the North Texas market, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, I know I send out emails every once in a while. I try and be mindful that, you know, you're getting emails from a lot of carriers <laughs> right now. So I try, I try and only send them when I need yeah. to, but I want to make sure that everybody knows that they can reach out to me. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Absolutely. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll be talking to you again, I'm sure. So uh, thanks again, David Ottelson there, with broker manager with Aetna, working in that Dallas-Fort Worth area, a little bit beyond as well, really, North Texas for David, for Aetna, for everyone down in that area, of course, for all of us here at Nice Loss and Fleming and Integrity Marketing Group. I'm your host, as always, Mike Asti. Until we meet again.